Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another Bell in Minute video and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure and start monitoring your network equipment with Industrial High Vision in two simple steps. In the first step, to scan the equipment, we have to click under the button preferences right here and first we will define a range for the equipment to be scanned. So this is the first way to do it, to find equipment. So I'm going to put 192.168.1.1 as my first IP address to be scanned and .40 as my last one. Okay, when I click scan network here, it's going to ping all devices within the 192.168.1.1 until the .40 range and try to find the devices that are in there. So as you can see here, we already found four switches, which is almost everything that I have in my network. And the second way to do it, let's pretend that you forgot to add a device, you can manually add one. So you can right click on the background, select new and device here. And you can specify an IP address if is the case of a single device that you forgot to add. So this is my laptop right here. And okay, this can be done with uh, as big as your network is. Only prerequisite here is that you ping the devices. Okay, now that we have all devices found, let's go to the second step, which is to draw the topology. And you can do this manually, but I highly recommend to do it by the auto topology. So you right click in the background and click auto topology. Let's create a new topology since it's the very first time that we're drawing it. And now click OK. And with this tool, the industrial high vision will draw the internal table of the devices and automatically draw the topology for you. So as you can see, we have all the connections already made. Now we need just to make it a little bit prettier. And that's it. With these two steps now, the network is already being monitored. Let's just perform a quick test here. I'm going to pull this cable that connects the 192.168.1.20 and .30, which is selected right here. And as you can see, when I disconnect, it becomes red and the industrial high vision also indicates that the standby link took over in the red and blue mechanism. And as you can see, it will also display you all the history, the event log. I showed you an example of monitoring the status of the links, but industrial high vision makes it able for you to monitor many, many, many features in the switches like the CPU resources, and memory utilization and you can create reports with it. There are really tons of features that you can configure here. If you're interested, you should look for the Hirschman certification plan where we cover this in details. Okay, so this is it for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next. Bye!